Can you tell me a little bit about the type of pruning that you do here in this orchard? Sure. Uh, in, in our orchard, we use uh, a slender spindle system for our orchard. So the rows are actually 14 feet apart and the trees are only 48 inches apart. So as you can see here, I've got about a, a four foot spacing uh, where the trees were planted. So you can see here, uh, this is the graft union. So this is the rootstock here. Uh, of course with its roots and then this is the graft so you can see this bulb here is, is where the uh, the varietal has been grafted to the to the rootstock and uh, so this is Tolman Sweet here so this is the tree uh, scaffold here and you can see basically for slender spindle we're training this long central leader up and then this what we're using to support it then and train it is this stake here this two inch stake that uh, is six feet out of the ground, so it's an eight foot stake, so it's two feet in the ground. And then we're using this binding tube. It's a vinyl tube. It's stretchy, so uh, we can train this tree to uh, hold it, but it, it's not gonna cut into the tree. And uh, so what we wanna do is, everything should be secondary to the trunk. So you can see all these branches are smaller than the trunk. I've got one here that actually is probably gonna need to be cut. Um, the main part of this system is the central leader and uh, having these secondary limbs and scaffolds that can be no bigger than 50% of the trunk. At that point, this is becoming a very dominant portion of the tree and we don't want that. So you can see this is 50% of the diameter of the trunk. So in, the, in February, March, I would actually take this limb off and then something like the shoot here or a shoot from this cut would actually come out to re-establish this section of the tree. And it would maintain the dominance of the central leader. That is so amazingly harsh. <laughs> to have to cut up a, a, pu a beautiful branch that's doing very well, um, but you just have to cut it right off and for the sake of the rest of the tree, I guess. To keep this balance, like I said, this balance in the tree. Right now, this, this limb will continue to dominate and, and I mean, we could have a, a limb failure or just the quality of the fruit uh, is affected because uh, most of the energy is going into this limb. So we want to maintain this dominance of the central leader.